Hello everyone, this is Crafting for Mommy. Um, this is Paz and it's been a week since my last um, video upload. Um, there's just been a lot of things going on. I haven't stopped crafting. Um, one of the, I would say, the most time intensive project that I've done for the week is that I sat the whole day of Saturday churning out 32 cards um, from Anna Griffin's Playful Pieces card um, card making kit. I have two thirds of one kit left um, and I have extended it by using some of my um, hunky dory USB uh, printouts that I've done, you know, from digital crafting. Um, similar to the leftovers that I actually have used in my tutorial of the uh, diamond press doily dies so i mean it is in my channel i'll try to link it down below as well if you'd like to see it but i managed to um stretch it i was able to do 32 cards in one day so uh, and i'm going to be sending it to my aunt um this week uh so yeah and you know in between cleaning my craft room and um lining up uh, tutorials in the next few days I'm just a little bit overwhelmed but nevertheless um, I got some royal mail today so I have been raving about um, hunky dory Kanban uh, to you guys in the past videos you know I am such a big fan of both British brands I'm my my view is that they make um, they have one of the best designs in my perspective. I like the old world charm, cottage, you know, um, type, like more of, um, like, you know, the small village feel of um, Britain and also some, you know, somewhere in Europe. I love those kinds of aesthetics. And um, I've been ordering it from Crate and Craft um, for the past few years. Um, so they have, I, I keep on ordering um, and I do have a couple of package here um, from the Royal Mail. And this one was done by Global Priority, but also from Royal Mail as well. Um, because I bought a few um, every week, I think there's something that I buy. Um, I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but for me, it's a, you know, it's such a delight. And I wanted to show you guys what I bought um, because these are the new decoupage books, okay? And there's also, um, you know, I've ordered a few sets of these. There's one set that just came. It comes in trickles. That's how Create and Craft has been um, during the pandemic. So if you have the patience to wait for your order from the United Kingdom to here in the U.S., by all means, like, you know, they have the great prices. It's just that it takes a while. So I think I ordered this four weeks to six weeks ago. Um, I don't mind waiting for it for me as long as it comes and as long as it's complete and as long as everything is in order, I'm fine. I don't need to do it right a second. Um, but I wanted to share it because one, I'd like to talk to you more and show you the different products for the two best brands that I love. Again, that's Hunky Dory and Kanban. And second is Hunky Dory came up with a new set of decoupage books. Um, so let me talk to you about it while I open this. So. Um, in my last tutorial, or one of my last tutorial about um, the window dice from Create and Craft, oh no, from Crafter's Companion, um, I have used as my toppers um, three uh, different types of little books from Hunky Dory. So I've told everyone that, you know, for each collection, you always have, um, in most cases, I'm not saying everything, um, but in most cases, in my experience, you always, I always get... Um, an option to either add on to my order or sometimes if it's a mega bundle it's already in the order some little books um, and that's what I've used in the last tutorial it's wonderful um, it's usually 114 or 144 pages per book um, like that and there's a lot of those in the crafters companion side not a lot I mean a few of those in the crafters companion side you can get tons of them from create and craft and also from the hunky dory side from the UK um, but they have recently launched a different type of um, little book. So same concept, but this is really like the traditional decoupage where you really like, you know, snip, snip, um, you know, fuzzy cut or do whatever it is that you need to do um, for it. So um, they have a collection of decoupage books that they have released. Um, it's collection one, collection two. And of course, I can't... Um, 
resist, I need to get it, even though I hate fussy cutting, which, to be honest, I'm loving now, and this is what I got. Woohoo! Um, so let us then take this out because I want to flip through. I think if there's one feedback consistently that I got from that tutorial that I did for um, the can from for the Hunky Dory Little Books is a lot of people in the U.S. wants to know more about it. Um, they would also like to see more of it and how it's being used. Um, and I'll be delighted to do that. Um, but this is the newest edition that I got. So hold on a sec because I got... Yeah, I'm a sucker for deco. Any art deco, any 20s um, or, or art nouveau um, graphics or collection that they have, I always get. So there has been a volume 1 and a volume 2, as far as I know. And one, or no, set 1 and set 2. Set 1 came with um, three different collections, so it should be volumes 1 to 3. And then set um, two should be four to six. So let me just sort this out because I ordered multiples. I definitely ordered extra decos. Um, so hold on. So this is volume two, volume six, volume five. This is just how I am. I order multiples for some reason i feel like i'm gonna you know i don't know it's, i think it's my ocd that i need to have a certain number i use them all though because i am very i'm quite diligent and i am determined to be much more diligent when it comes to making and sending cards okay so this th let me get um a little book for comparison hold on a second i'm just gonna go around my class All right. All right, I'm back. Hi, I'm back. So, a little book is like this. 144 pages. They usually have one per collection that they release. And it is um, size. It is four by six in size. And, you know, the graphics um, on the toppers, on the different pads, on the different um, adorable scrollable prints that they do for, um, for the whole collection, they actually reiterate it in this format. Now, the little box is, um, it's glossy. It's paper weight, okay? This is not cardstock weight. But the good thing about this is that you get multiples of one print. So you get approximately four or five of each of the cards. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so in this case, you've got six. But on other cases, I've got four, I've got five. Um, and the intention is to do two things. One is you can make this a very simple card by putting this on top of your card base. Put on your embellishment, put on your, um, put on your frames. And similar to what I did on the tutorial about um, Crafter Companion cut and emboss folder with a gate and also the die cut with a gate, it can work. And you guys have seen in two steps, which is cutting the base and also cutting the embellishment. Just slap this on and you have a wonderful looking card in an instant. All right. Um, the second expectation or not expectation i think that's the wrong choice of word the second suggested use of the little box is to really do the traditional decoupage which means you are going to sit with your scissors and essentially cut and build dimension by um really cutting different parts of the different pages building the background and the foreground just so whatever it is that is the focal point of your picture and in this case you could definitely make it the bird that's the one that would really stand out so i mean just in the sheer number alone you can do either two sets of decoupage with three papers each using three papers each or you can use it in one go 
um, all of those six and, you know, have a very, very thick um, decoupage work of art. And either way it works. I think it's it depends on your style. But it's beautiful. I love it. I always get it um, whenever it's an option. If it's a mega bundle, I make sure that I get an extra uh, of it as well. I wait for the sale. Sometimes it's um, buy three for the price of two so don't buy full price you know always wait it's always on sale anyway um, even and even if the collection have already gone past they usually issue this little box um, a few months sometimes a year after thereafter it's still there all right so let me know because I think there was a comment about me flipping through uh, the little books for people to get more acquainted with it if you are one of them and you'd like to see what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna pull my whole collection of little books um, and I'm going to spend you know an hour maybe or so of course we're going to um we're going to might speed it up a little bit but i'm going to spend time in terms of flipping it through just so you know what to expect when you're buying these the hunky dory stuff okay now they have come up with a new set and they have volume one volume two and they actually have had hold on i feel like I don't have the entire collection. Hold on a second. Because I know I have collection two, collection one. I think I'm missing a few. Hmm. I will definitely take it up with them. I might be missing a few or maybe I'm not. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have volume three. Anyway, so um, these are, sorry about that, I digress. I just um, wanted to make sure that I got everything. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It's quite different. And let's open one. And, um, you know, the intention in here is for us to really um, sit down one afternoon um, and do the traditional decoupage without a hurry. If you're watching TV and a lot of people find fuzzy cutting relaxing, um, have a go with it. You know, it's um, it. I am now finding because of the issue that I'm having with my scan and cut this week, I have been forced to fuzzy cut. And to be honest, I'm turning on a new leaf. I am liking it. All right, so there is this all locations, and if you notice the all locations, it is 72 um, pages, 150 GSM, but it's oh, it's a little bit, it's paperweight still, and it can make 48 fully layered decoupage toppers. This is how it looks like. Okay, so let me flip through it. So for those all locations, it comes already with. Um, sentiments that you can use so you could definitely use this this is two images in one but they're giving you multiples because it is expected that either we're gonna use this as a base or here you go you can cut this and layer this on top of this one okay so this is quite easy to cut um, I myself can even muster this and I'm gonna check with my scan. No, I won't bother with my scan and cut I think this is um, Simple enough for me to do because there's also white borders that can help guide you in terms of what you need to do and there's even um, Why am I doing this upside? I'm sorry. Um, there's even an indication in terms of which layer. So this is graphic number one You're going to layer 2a to B. 3a and 3b then 2c so it's going to be chronological and by the end of it um, use this on top of this and you're gonna have a wonderful decoupage um, topper we're going to do I, I think this is what I'm going to do in the next few days um, I'm going to show you guys how to get this done um, through fuzzy cutting and let's see but look I mean this is all occasion so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of sentiment like happy birthday wishes to someone special have a wonderful day um, this is so cute it's like the little mouse or house mouse stamps that we usually buy from from Michaels but this is such a wonderful graphic and this is what I love about hunky-dory is that 
it's just beautiful designs and pages and different colorways that you'll always have something for someone in your life so look into this the mouse just look this you can actually use all of these elements to build it up I am certainly going to do that and I think this would be one five by seven card just so it's beautiful see so you've got the rosé which is cute a rosé with roses on it <laughs> watercolor roses um, oh this is beautiful swans they have cottage um, collections like this for spring and for summer and it's always beautiful like look at the things that you're gonna be layering on top of that right it's just amazing I mean these and these are like up until five layers this is 5a already oh six I think whoever who will get um, the card that you will make out of this is really going to have a wonderful time looking at how you did everything make pop up I mean I love dimensional cards like the anagriffin dimensional cards but this one is like a different level of dimension if you've got if you it's an entire scene <coughs> with around six layers on it um, which is not sometimes it's a it, you know not a lot of the crafting companies to actually do do that I love this is something that you can give to a special couple anniversary or those who have been engaged right and there's a lot of good wishes in here um, such wonderful news we're so happy for you both congratulations on your engagement to a very special couple um, oh the tea they always have a good tea um, selection so this is going to be the top of your card wishing you a very happy mother's day oh cool oh for spe for a very special lady too so doesn't mother's day has gone past but there's always next year um so look at the dimension that you're gonna build i mean you can even put this as a home decor to be honest um put it in a shadow box with some of um some of the souvenirs that maybe you guys have had when the time that you got engaged or when you got married um and I think it's going to be beautiful. Look at this. Wow. It's like Monet's water lilies, but in pastel shades. Pastel with silver undertones. Right? So that's the all locations. All locations. Oh, okay. So I've got two of the all locations. Let's set that aside. I know this beautiful bird is something that I am looking forward to. So I know I got two of these. So yeah, at least two of each. Because so I got two sets. So that's good. When I saw these beautiful birds, that's why I bought two. It's because, oh my god, it's so beautiful. You guys need to see this. Alright, so these are the toppers, the base. And you have get well soon, best wishes to someone special. You can easily um, have a Miri card or a, you know a gold foil um, card stock as a matting for this make it shine a little bit use some of your anagriffin and crafters companion the ornate type of dies oh my god this is gonna be beautiful oh look come on I mean how can you say how can you say no to that with this specific yeah for this and for this just look by the time that you're done in here, like you, you're going to be a rock star. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm so excited to do this. I never thought I'm going to tell you guys how much I love fussy cutting. But since my snafu with my um, scan and cut on printouts like this, like something light as this, forget it. It's, it's not going to recognize it easily. You're going to end up doing a lot of fussy cutting. So might as well just do it from the beginning. Um, this is a beautiful colorway, a little bit more vibrant, but gorgeous. Come on. And maybe once you have done this, 
um, work with a wink of Stella or like our Spectrum Noir Sparkle pen even the clear ones like this and put a sparkle on some of these oh my god I think that's gonna be beautiful just look and I always want don't you guys love like colors like this colorways like this it's so pretty it's very relaxing <laughs> whenever I see this girl see even even this it's gonna make so much dimension oh my god I, I think this this is needed for those types of card bases where it is a um, frame so pretty I'm not going through all the pages but I'm just showing you guys at least the designs and how many um, elements that you're going to cut in there so I think you need to by the time that you're cutting this you need to have your glue your dimensional glue with you whether you're using foam pads or the collal gel um, you need to have it because with all of the small elements and the numbering it's very difficult to put it all together once you've cut it and you need to trace where you know which one needs to go first so might as well cut the stick cut stick um by the time that an afternoon is done you have at least a couple one or two of these done depending on how how fast you guys do fuzzy cutting but look at this right so pretty your friendship means the world to me so for your best friends that you know because of the lockdown you really ha you have missed a lot of occasions already um birthdays or you're not yet comfortable going out and you know being part of a gathering so um write something uh, make them a wonderful card to let them know that you're thinking of them oh this is wonderful look it's so small this might be for the advanced fuzzy cutters out there uh well ah, oh my god i i think it can work it can work because the big thing in here is that you have a white um, backdrop as a line so that makes a big difference to me you know someone who's new to fuzzy cutting Wow and this one okay so that's the beautiful birds this is the pretty petal so this in itself yeah you know what I am missing one book because uh, this is supposed to be volume one with, um, with, and there should be three of them. And then I ordered extra of these. So I am missing one. I mean, this is, it's, you know, I think because of the pandemic, which I did, we just need to be a bit patient. But um, my orders from Create and Craft have been messed up so many times. So. And it takes a long time for them to resend something and so on. So it's just patience. That's what I've just done myself. Patience, my dear. All right. Pretty petals. Ooh. Wow. So for the beginner fuzzy cutters I think this is big enough for you guys to practice on so I I think it's wonderful oh wow I love pink um, my whole craft room is pink um, so this is just right up my alley this is super pretty oh wow and look look what you guys are gonna fuzzy cut super pretty I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this this week, um, and we will. We're going to make. I'm already getting inspired by everything in here, so we need to do something. Uh, so cute! Look, oh, I'm a crafting for mommy. I'm a for mommy. That's why I um, I do have two dogs that I have adopted. Um, our advocacy in life is dog rescue so this is so cute 
doesn't look like my dogs but it's super cute nonetheless and of course for the cat lovers out there oh ooh, vintage feel I like it see super nice what is this yellow did we see that ah very nice and this one too oh I'm totally gonna do this this is so cute this is just so cute so pretty petals and then this is supposed to be um, so this was already like three of these so when you buy the set it's this set so I bought two sets right pretty petals beautiful birds and all locations so with this I bought this hold on a second I bought this for $36 $30 yeah because I'm a crate and craft um, member so we do have a discount so 30 30 dollars for this three which is such a great deal considering all the things that you guys have seen right um all in all it will make 48 multi-layer toppers for ten dollars each i mean that's steel right there um okay and then there should be decoupage books for this so I am missing one of the books and I don't even remember what that what that is. I definitely have ordered two of these and two when you buy you know just one it's a little bit more expensive. Um it is one of these is fourteen eighty two less um the discount so it's approximately thirteen fifty each um, so you definitely get a deal if you buy the set of three. Um, so let's do this cuddly friends. Oh yeah, I do remember. This is the one that they said is so cute for kiddos. So just look at that. Oh, oh wow. This is wonderful. Oh, look. <laughs> And of course, a cupcake. Noah's Ark. Oh, I always love um, images of Noah's Ark and all the animals in there. I do remember. I there is a. I do felt stitching. Do you guys do that? The felt stocking kit from Butchilla. So I do. I do that as well. Um, basic stitching I can do. Cross stitch is my is my first craft ever when I was in grade school, and I still do it today. But I digress. Anyway, um, there is a butchilla kit like this that can be a wall decor, and it's always so cute. Um, and I always I'm looking out for it for it to be on sale, but I always see it only on regular priced items. So I am deferring buying it. Oh, look at that. The entire safari is in here. Oh, so cute. Look at this. Lamb. Special birthday wishes. Oh, this is like... This reminds me of my cousin, Jen, who is a little traveler. It reminds me of her because it looks like Dora the Explorer, you know, that cartoon character. And I, we always um, joke around that she's Dora the Explorer because she's just... She's just um I I I travel a lot, but Jen travels way more than I do. Especially she's based in Europe, so it's easy to get around to different countries. If you just pop into Florence one of the one weekend and so on so I was like, Oh, take me with you. Oh, this is so cute. See, this is where the sparkle pens will definitely be a good um, addition. Because once you put sparkle pens in here, it's going to um, look as if it's made out of glitter and it's definitely gonna pop sweet other space of so, so, my god there's so many of them in here <laughs> oh I love it okay and my favorite to the point that I bought two extras but I'm going to contact them because um, again 
um, there's something missing in my order. So one book. Yeah, one book. Because this is supposed to be a three set. A three piece set um, is missing. And I don't even remember what it is. So art, this deco, anything deco by Hunky Dory, guys, you need to watch out for it. I'm watching out for the Christmas collection because they always get a, um, they always have a mega Christmas collection. But um, sometime afterwards, they bring out the deco Christmas. And I'm just all around. So look at this. Come on, right? Just look at that. Wow. Wow. All these layers for just one topper. I mean, it really definitely needs to be a very special card for this to work. Cheers to you on your special day. Wishing you every happiness this special day brings. Have a wonderful birthday. So for our girlfriends fabulous aunts I do have a lot of fabulous aunts um, who travel around the globe look good take good care of themselves that always reminds me of this the sense of refinement so oh. wishing to people one wonderful life happy anniversary oh so cute So cute. Wow. I love this. They have the deco collection for spring. Um and it is this color palette. Isn't it gorgeous? Just look. Wow. And you can put some gems in here um, if you have those pearls. You know we've got a lot of pearls, right? From from the create from the Crafters Companion U.S. warehouse sale. So it's your time to use it in here. <laughs> wow! Sparkle on your birthday. At your dream set sale. Oh, this is right up my. I love the cruise and I miss cruising. This reminds me of Positano or Lago di Como, Lake Como in Italy when we were there years ago. I want to go back. Food is great, weather is wonderful, and you go to the right time of the year. Oh, can can girls reminds me of Moulin Rouge. Here you go. Oh, this is oh, this is beautiful. This is art deco, but I would say you know a little bit more modern. Can be the fifties. It can even be now. I mean, these types of dresses are contemporary enough to see, to still see now. Yeah. So pretty. The hunky dory deco punch box. Um, create and craft may have it um, check out hunky dory um, UK site if they do but you guys know they have this type of collection so again recap art deco delights cuddly friends and I'm missing one from collection one and this is collection two you get three books at that time that they offered it in create and craft I am not sure if that is still available at this point but you can check um, pretty petals, the beautiful birds, and all occasions. Okay, another one that I got is my Kanban. So, uh, I was so happy that Kanban released a new art deco collection recently. Recently, I mean six weeks ago or two months ago because um, I have, let me see. Okay, so this should be the complete collection. I bought different sets of these and I got some of them already, not, not everything. Um, but this is one complete set. When they still have something, I usually stack up um, on this. So I want to show you guys why I always talk about it. Um, because it's beautiful and it can easily be used by the 
you know, with in coordination with the other tools that we already have from from Crafters Companion, from Anna Griffin. So, okay, so the collection is named High Society. This is the idea sheet. But look at the imagery. Come on. So you've got multiple topper sheets in here. I think there's two for each type. So this is one. And this is like a standalone topper. All you need to do is to do this. Have a very good um, Mary cardstock or a pearlescent cardstock that you have as a frame um, at the back. And this can be a card in itself. So easy. So look at this. I love this. I love the cloche hat. I'm not sure if others are freaked out by this kind of um, imagery. I love it because, the, you know, the colorways, the way the eyes and the eyeshadow has been colored is so pretty. And you have, so these are die-cut elements that you just pop out. But look, you even have elements like this that you can use in your card. And foiling. Um, both Kanban and Hunky Dory are very known for their foiled elements. Um, and they are not shy in giving us a lot in here. Now, the reason why I, like, I love Art Deco is first and foremost, just reminds me of my grandmother and my grandparents. I mean, 1920s was when they were growing up and I saw their pictures and all that. They're, they're quite a fashionable set. And on top of that, New York. So I work in Manhattan. I have lived in Manhattan um, before we transferred here in our home somewhere in New Jersey. And um, we, I think I told you guys we lived in the Upper West Side, so at the Central Park West, across the Museum of Natural History. And um, I am so at, at an awe with the different pre-war buildings and the Art Nouveau buildings that, one, I've lived in, second, are my neighbors, and third, is just all over Manhattan, including the offices that we've been into. So I am just... You know, it's something that I see every day and I love it. So look at this. And, you know, it's die cut so well. It doesn't pop out, but you can easily pop it out with just one flick of your finger. Okay? So those are the toppers. And they have this. Oopsie. I got these pads cardstock that they give so this in itself I like the sentiments um, there's a lot of cut aparts too let me just rotate this these are the cut aparts so pretty and you even have cut apart sentiments that all you need to do cut you can either use it in here but what I'll do I'll just is I'll map it further and look at this right I mean you can add a bit of glitter in here just have a glue pen put a bit of glitter and that would work so there's also multiple of each of those um, I think there's a couple. there's three sets I think which is good because you we are not going to shy away from using it And then you have a lot of paper. So the paper in here are not only substantial, um, but also, I mean, look at the design. This is supposed to be, these are supposed to be inserts, but I don't usually use it as inserts. This in itself is a topper right there from the top of the card. You can go, do a Z fold card or a Z fold card, put it in the inside, and then use one of the toppers on the outside. This can sort of work well you have this image tree come on so I mean I my mind is already racing on how I'll be able to use this stretch this for multiple cards there's so much you get for the collection um, 
that you can do multiples of this. I mean, look at this. This in itself are the card fronts. Um, matted using um, your card, but look, right? Just this alone. This right here is your card, and then you put a topper on it, you're done. When you go to Manhattan, um, particularly at the Rockefeller Center, they usually have a tour of 30 Rock. Look, just you know where you get you guys go to the Christmas tree, get inside or go inside the building of 30 Rock, and you will see. Just look up, and you will see deco elements like this similar i'm not saying this exact same thing but the patterns the repeated lines the um the, that geometric pattern right there is there i mean this in itself like it's like chrysler building and the empire state another card front that is like done and this is what i love i mean these types of patterns which is so art deco and I see this in architectural de details you know all around Manhattan is just inspiring to work on I miss going back to the city hopefully when the pandemic is over um, it will be good to go back to you know to, to, to do the day-to-day -day commute for work um, super pretty these are, they call this background pages, but I'll definitely use this, cut it apart, but I'll use this as an element on my topper card, my topper sheet. Yeah, and then you just have it. Um, same thing, different colorways. Okay, so that is what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, hopefully, my love of the two British brands, Kanban and um hunky dory would rub off on you all um now that you've seen what they are capable of doing and what type of products do they have so let me just double check this was at that time so it gross is 44.31 usd and i got a discount of 8.42 so with tax of two dollars and twenty three cents, the um, this in itself is uh, thirty five point eighty nine for the whole collection. I mean, thirty five dollars for this is such a good deal, right? You're gonna pay a little bit of shipping, um, of course, um, because it's coming from the UK. They don't have free shipping, but they do have cap shipping now, which is always wonderful. Okay so there you go um give me a comment in terms of what you'd like to see first um we definitely need to do something out of this um let's do it together uh i'm going to fuzzy cut in front of you all i'm being brave now <laughs> um, and we'll see how it works so don't fail to subscribe to my facebook so that's crafting for mommy and also instagram because on days that i don't shoot any video um, those are the days that I am actually um, posting pictures in there of the crafts that I'm doing behind the scenes and are on my own time. All right. So that's it. And I hope I rubbed it on you. Go hunky-dory and go Kanban. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. Bye.